Hi there, everyone. How are you there? Hello, everyone. I'm here um, with Andrew Meekin. My name is... Hi. Sandra's of the Artisan Hi. Gallery, um, and you're based in uh, Camp C. Glen, Sandra. That's right. Yep, that's right. Up at Clacken of Camp C. Yeah. And you have been an artist for how many years? Oh, a long time. <laughs> Probably about the best part of 25 years, maybe a little bit more. Right, my goodness. Okay. And you run classes yeah. from your unit uh, at Clacken of Camp C for adults and children? I do indeed. Yes, I have um I have classes during the week for adults and I have children's classes all weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday from eleven till four o'clock. Wow, and right. They are really, really yeah, uh -huh. great, fabulous. And everyone works from your wee studio then. They do, yes, they all come here. Yeah, Normally. they do indeed, yeah. Not at the moment, unfortunately. Sadly, no, no. Sadly, at the moment, it's just me and my daughter Sharon's here with me. Hi, She's Sharon. She's part of my tech team to keep me right. <laughs> Brilliant. So we're quite excited to see what you've got for us today. You're um, going to teach us five steps to create a children's painting. Yep. And yep. we'll ask people Pretty to... Much, yeah. Yeah, come prepared with paper, pens, some water and some kitchen paper. Yeah, paper towel, yeah. Okay. And the thing is, too, they can, the children can do this with, um, they can do it with uh, Sharpies, they can do it with crayons, they can do it just with normal felt tips, coloured pencil. If they have paint, then paint's great because paint's always fun to do. Mm -hmm. Um. But if they don't have, as I say, even coloured pencils, you know, or some crayon, it doesn't really matter. Crayon's fine. I'm actually going to be using today, I'm going to be using um, chalk pastels. Here All they right. are here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be using chalk pastels. So if anyone has chalk pastels, chalk pastels are good too. You also get um, pastel pencils, which are pretty much the same as just like coloured pencils. And these are quite you them here they are here. Just yeah, these the are new for parents because the problem with painting is it's it's a pretty messy affair. And if parents are home working at the moment, um, you know, and uh, trying to go on with something for their yeah. business or their employer, and then they look round and oh my goodness, there's paints absolutely paint everywhere. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. great. I have a uh, now quick yeah. question. I've been struggling to source paints and things like that, Sandra. Um, my wee boy's three, and we've been through quite a lot, painting rainbows for windows and, and things like that. Have you got any tips on where parents can pick up art supplies at the moment? Absolutely. Um, for children, you know yourself, children, you know, they can mess and, and waste more than they actually use. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is um, if you can even get to seal at home bargains or poundland now you get just little tubes about this size which is just like a wee hundred mil tube okay. um, and all they really need is the basic primary colors and black and white and from that they can mix up the colors and make different colors it gets them a good way of experimenting but they also do canvases as well little canvas boards right. Um, probably about this size, about A4 size, mm -hmm. um, and they do brushes. So I would say definitely go to Poundland or Home Bargains for paint. Mm -hmm. And as I say, they just need basic colours, even right. chalks, you know, even chalks. If you can get chalk, ordinary chalk, you can use as well on paper. Okay, fantastic. So what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to make your screen a wee bit bigger so that people at home can see. And if there's any boys and girls... Okay. It would be nice if you could comment and let us know what your names are. And I'll just bring Sharon up, uh, Sandra up just now. There we go. That looks better. Okay, yep. over to you, Sandra. Okay, thank you, Fiona. Thank you very much. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm just going to turn the tablet round. And you're probably looking and thinking, oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Okay, so this is what 
we are going to do today. Wow, that's stunning. Okay. And it's, it's, just, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And everybody's will be different. I am, um, you know, everybody will like paint it. anything. No two people paint the same, you know. So I'm going to put it up here just above the, the paper. So this is um, special paper for using chalk pastels. Okay, but I'll take you through it step, step by step. Um, once we get the glasses on. Hi, Amy. Okay. Oh, hello. Yeah, we've got Alexis and Amy so far. Oh. So, will we give you a couple of minutes? Will we give everybody a couple of wee minutes before we actually start, do you think? Yeah, yeah, let everyone get set up. That sounds a good idea. Yeah. 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 We'll just give it yeah. a So those pictures you've got in the back, are they pictures that you've painted, Sandra? Yeah, well, they pretty much, apart from the big horse one here that you see, uh -huh. this one was done, Shannon, my daughter did that, this one, but the rest of them, all the paintings that are here, yes, I've all yeah. been done by myself, yeah. And yeah. Are, are those for sale or are they just for, for yeah, looking at uh, Yeah, no, no. Everything that's up here um, in the gallery is for sale, yeah. So once we're all back to normal, you can come out, have a wee look, um, and people can maybe get some more information um, about the classes that we do. Yeah. Um, as I say, the classes are like, it's like a two-hour session. Um, they're very, very busy. Uh, we have loads it. of classes. Um, loads okay. of children and they come from all over would you believe they come from Glasgow um, they come from Airdrie they come from Cumbernauld Bishop Briggs Bearsden Mogai so this is kind of central here uh -huh. and they come yeah. from all around so it's lovely and it's quite good for um, for children to it kind of helps them so socialise a little bit as well uh -huh. so it's good that way too okay let's go for it now Sandra we've got quite a few watching Okay, okay, so the first thing we're going to do today, guys, is you can usually what I do is I always kind of try and find the center, the center of my paper, yeah, and I usually just put a wee line, a wee mark in the center there. You probably can't see because the light's shining on here. Um, I might get Shannon to put the blind down a wee bit so that you can see this. It looks okay, um, Sam. It looks okay. Can you see it all right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I think that'll be fine. Okay. So what we're going to do first, guys, is when we look at the picture that we're doing here, the horizon line, now the horizon line, guys, is the line where the sky meets the water. And that's this line here. Okay. So and if you want, if you've got a ruler handy, get a ruler. Yeah. And the horizon line is just below halfway. So I'm going to put mine in here. I'm just going to put a wee line the whole way across here. Okay. So this is my horizon line. And that's where the sky okay. is meeting the land, Sandra, yeah? That's right, yep. That's where the sky meets the water, yeah. Yeah. And what we do first is we're just going to do a wee quick... Um, a wee quick sketch. We don't do any detail at all at this point in time. So has everybody got their line in? Yeah, their horizon line. Yeah. Yeah. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put see the big the big hills here that the lighthouse is sitting on. Yeah. The lighthouse is here. So we're now going to put the hills in. Put this big hill in. And it comes almost to halfway. The land comes almost to halfway on the horizon. Okay. Now you can have this as bumpy or as straight as you like. Okay. So there you are. There's mine. So that's the mountain in. Okay. And when I say it's just like five wee steps, it pretty much is. Now, there's not an awful lot more of actual drawing in this. Now, the next thing we're going to put in, if I'm going too fast, say, just slow down a bit, Sandra. 
is these two little sand dunes that are at either side of the painting, the picture we've got, and it just comes down below the waterline, and it comes across and down here, just above the bottom, and the same at this side. Now, if you notice, this sand dune here is slightly lower, it's just below the waterline, whereas this one on this side is above the waterline. So it's quite steep. Okay, so that's our drawing so far. And is that, doing that good. one, is it Sandra, or was the drawing? Sorry? The drawing, step one. Step one, this is the drawing, yeah. Like, yep, this is step one. And then what we would do here is just very, very lightly. It doesn't have this ha doesn't have to be perfect. So this is going to be where my lighthouse is going to sit. Okay, can you see that all right? I'm just finding a flat bit on the hill, the wee hill here. Okay. So see, there's no detail in here whatsoever at the moment. We just have lines. Now the boat, we're not going. We don't need to worry about the boat. The wee boat that's here, we can put that in. But if you don't want to put the boat in, you do not have to put the boat in. So what I'm going to do now is, if everybody, are we all caught up? Is everybody all okay? I'm not yeah. going too fast, am I? We can tell the boys and girls that they can actually watch this on playback again later once it's once we're finished, if they want to go through it a bit slower. Yep, yep, that would be good, yeah. So the colours here, here we go with the colours, guys, this time. So now the nice thing about this, the colours in this are absolutely beautiful. So it's a very, very, as we all see my pastels are used a lot, they're very dirty. Very pale blue, almost a blue-grey colour okay so what i'm going to do is now see when we're doing sky and water always always everything goes horizontally which is side to side always the only time even this big wave see the big wave that comes in here oops sorry i'll get it back the big wave the only thing that goes um vertically towards you is if we had a waterfall in here somewhere and the water was coming towards us, that's the only time that anything goes vertically. So always to the sky, and we'll just go in here with, I'm going in with my chalk pastels and I'm just taking it. I'm going over, don't worry about the lighthouse, I'm going over my lighthouse. The chalks are good. Crayons would actually be good for this too. Okay, now I'm leaving, you can see I'm leaving this centre bit, but I'm taking it right along the bottom here. Okay, now, and with chalks, pastels, we can go in, it's a wee bit, actually pastels are quite messy, but they're good fun. Okay. So Sandra, then, if boys and girls are using paints, how do they... Yes. How, how do they put the okay. blue on? Okay, so if you're using paint with a brush, big wide brush, okay, big wide brush, and what you would do is you would have your blue and mix a little bit of white in it, and you would literally put it on there and bring it into the middle, pull it into the middle. Leave this bit in the middle bare, don't put any on there, and the same with this side, pull it in for those that are doing paint. Okay. Now I'll go over this and make it just a little bit darker. Hello, Anne. Can you, can you see the colour okay on this, guys, yeah? Starting to come through, Sandra, yeah. Yeah. It's quite pale, but we're beginning to see it. Okay. What I'll maybe do is I'll go in with a wee bit of darker. Well, that's a bit too dark, but never mind. Right, so I'm going to have quite a blustery sky going with the colour here. 
How is that? Is that better? That's good. Yeah. 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 That's better. So I'm just. Yeah. What I can do is I'll go in and lighten this up after. Okay. So as I say, with the big brushes, start at the outside, pull it into the middle. And the same with this side. You can see the brush is actually blend in this form. It's actually quite nice. See that? Okay. Now, the next colour we're going to use would be the yellow. And as I say, we're not doing any detail just now. We literally put a base colour on. Okay, we've done the drawing. We put base colours on. We're starting, always start from the furthest away point. Always start with the distance. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to go in with this yellow. I might mix it actually. I'm going to go in with this orangey yellow. If it was clean. Right. And this is where. And it's a wee bit like a cross. What I've done. See that? Can you see that? Yes. A bit like a cross. See it? Yeah. Now and again I'll use the brush to blend this rather than my hands. To let everybody see so whoever's using brushes guys i want you to go in and use your paints with your brush okay i'm just blowing all the dust away from this from the chalk okay now don't worry about we want this yellowy orange to kind of blend in a wee bit with your blue so don't worry, don't think, oh, the colours are mixing. That's fine if the colours mix. Now, so that's kind of the sky done the now. I know that we've still got the sun to put in, but we'll put that in last. So the next colour is, are we okay? Am I going too fast, guys? Just slow me down. No? No, okay. one's, no one's saying that, Sandra. No, I think it's okay. Right, okay. Okay, dokes. Good, good, good. So my next colour is, I'm going to use a kind of, I think this is a kind of purpley blue for the mountain. Or even, see even if you want to, in fact, no, I won't, I'll change it. I'm going to go brown. Let's go brown. So we're going to go in here brown with the mountain. And again, just do the outline. And bring it down. Can you see that? So this is this big, the big mountain in the background, the big hill in the background that the lighthouse is sitting on okay and bring it right down to the water's edge right down to the horizon line yeah i've seen two chalk pastels are good as well i'm sure you'll get chalks as well in the home bargains and all these other wee shops so i see these wee shops are great for this stuff Okay, and then just blend that in again. Now, remember this is just base colours we're putting on at the moment. Okay. And then, go back again, guys, to the orangey yellow that we used for the sky. Yeah. And we're going to put this directly below. So this is called, this is what we're doing is reflection. We're going to reflect the sky onto the water now. Okay. So what we're going to do is, so I'm going to show you here. I don't want you to do this just yet, but I'm just going to show you. So my sun is going to be in about here. I don't know if you can see this just yet. Maybe not. But what we're going to do is, from wherever the sun is, you're going to go straight down below and put the same colour into the water. This is the water, remember? Okay. So we're putting the same colour into the water. Oh, we've got a wee comment here, Sandra, just that Alexis is looking yeah. really good. Good, good. Well done. That's great. I can't wait to see all these guys, by the way. I'm really quite excited to, to see them. Now, 
The next bit is, I'll go back to the blue colour that I had, and I've forgotten what blue I had. Here we go. We'll just go for this one. So, and we're going to do the blue for the water, okay? So, we've done the yellow. This is the reflection of the sun on the, the water here. So, I'm now going to go in. Don't worry if you go over where the wee sand dunes are either side, because we're going to cover them up. So, don't worry about that. But I want to find the water line. Here it is. And it goes all the way out there. See that? And it goes all the way out to this side as well. And then I'm going to bring the water right down. You can hear your brush getting cleaned out there. Okay, and I'll just brush this in. So this is what you're doing if you're doing it with paint. Okay. Okay, can you see that all right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. So now, here we have, we've done the mountain. As I say, we always put in all the base colours first. Now, these wee sand dunes, I'm going to go for a kind of, um, a kind of creamy colour. A kind of beige colour. Yeah. Just really a kind of sandy colour. And I'm just going to colour in the wee sand dunes all the way across and up this side as well. Okay. Now, to get this kind of colour, what you would use is, if you've got brown, if you don't have this kind of a sandy kind of colour, what you can do is use brown, or if you've got orange, use a little bit of orange, a tiny wee bit of brown, and then always mix little amounts of colour, because you can always mix more rather than wasting paint. So what you want to do is get a nice orange, nice orange colour with a little bit of brown and then put a little bit of white in, yeah, will give you a nice kind of sand colour, okay. So here we go, I'm just going to cover this. Okay, so here's my sand right across the bottom and I'm taking it up here this side okay and then I'll just blend it in with the brush so again notice how when I'm painting everything always goes from left to right or left or left to right right to left either way okay so that's us done the base, that's us got base colours here. So what we do now is we work on this, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for probably a kind of brownie colour, right? So if you're doing paint, I want you to go for a kind of light brown. And we've lost... Sandra, let's try and get her back. Here we go. There she is. We lost you, Sandra. You're back. Okay. Right, I know, I know. Okay, okay. Yep, yeah, that's that's okay. Good, good, good. Um, so yeah, so a nice kind of. If you're wanting to get a kind of light brown, which I'm going to do for the sky, I'll show you here. These clouds are going in here. Now. To mix this kind of colour up is brown with a tiny little bit of brown and a tiny little bit of yellow will give you this nice colour for these clouds, okay? Now, and I'm just, if you look at the clouds, I don't know if this can zoom in, oops. I'll zoom in a little bit and let you see the clouds if you can, yeah? Okay, and the clouds kind of, and your clouds can be whatever shape you want them to be. There's more clouds down the bottom here. Okay, and then we'll have some coming in from the side here too. Okay. 
Okay, you're doing it with a brush. Go for maybe a slightly smaller brush if you're doing the clouds with this. What I would probably tend to do is, with your clouds, is go for a small round brush, yeah, and just go in and colour in. You put your clouds in with this brush. Okay, and we circular motions to do when you're doing this. Okay. Now slow down a little bit here and let you get these clouds done properly. Okay. And what I should actually get you to do now is, as well as with pure white, pure white, go in over the top of and put in the sun. Yeah. Put the sun in there, right in the middle, right in the centre. And on here, it's probably about the size of a five pence piece, the sun. Okay. And then while we still have the white in our hand, I want you to go in and do the white reflection of that sun just literally right along the bottom here of the water see that just literally right along the horizon line there of the water this is starting to look nice yeah okay and also now that we've put the the, the sun in you can take a couple of wee lines just across with your brush that's just going to cross your, the sun. I'm going to put this on and I'm not going to blend it in this time. I'm going to leave it and let you see where my clouds are going. Because I'm aware that when I blend this in, you can't really see them so well. Okay, so can you see the clouds now appearing? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. No, so once we've done that. I'm going to stick actually with the white just now. And as I say, your white, you can kind of go in here. See where we put the, the sand dunes in and we did it that sort of beige colour. What I want you to do as well is, and this is a wee bit, we're kind of putting wee bits of detail on here, but it's just before we go in and put all these wee fermi rushes, these wee bull rushes and things in. So what I would like you to do here is go in, along with the white now see if you look at the picture here yeah all the way along here the sun is just because the sun's going down here it's bouncing off these sand dunes see how it just clips the top of them both of them here and a little bit in here at the front of the water so we're going to go in as well with just do a tiny little bit of white Just along the top of, can you see that all right? And the same on this side, just a little bit of white along the top here, just where the sun is going down, it's just catching, it's just clipping the top of these wee sand dunes. Just down here, that's it. And the reason we're putting this in just now is because we're going to put these wee bulrushes and these wee ferny bits in. And if we did that, this is when I say like um, when you're painting things or uh, using pastels, any kind of medium, whatever medium you're using, it's always best to, when you're doing any kind of painting, um, it's a wee bit like decoupage. Decoupage is where you make cards and you put layers upon layers. Well, when you're painting, you're kind of doing the same thing. Yeah. So like this, when you look at this, if you strip everything away, you start with the furthest away bit, which is the sky. 
and then you apply more on top. You just keep applying on top of until your picture starts to take shape and form. Okay, so as it's a wee bit like decoupage. Okay, so now we're going to go back in with the dark colour. We're going to go in and put a wee bit more detail on these mountains, this hill here, the big mountain that the lighthouse is sitting on. And again, it's very dark at the top. The light is bouncing off the front here. The sun's coming down, the sun's going down in, in this one, and it's hitting off the water here, but there's also a little bit of reflection over in this corner too, okay? So I'm gonna just put in a wee bit more of making these hills a little bit darker. Now, if you've done your hills quite dark and you're happy with them, just leave them as they are. Don't go in and make them any darker, just leave them if you're quite happy. So long as we've got a flat bit here, for the lighthouse to sit on, okay? There we go. I think that'll do mine. And I'm gonna go in with the white along here. Okay. Now the fun bit is doing the big waves. These are always fun to do. You'll notice like more, nearly all my paintings actually are all um, seascape, the majority of them. I just love painting water. I think it's got to be my favorite. So what we're gonna do, if you notice when you look at this, the picture that we're doing, it's very dark along here. And then this bit here, Towards the shore is really quite light, but just as it comes in here at this big wave, if you notice underneath the wave, it's very, very dark. And then the water coming over the top here is really, really light. So we'll do this before we go and put all these wee ferny bits and bulrushes in, okay? So I'm going to go in with slightly darker blue. Now, if you're using paint, what to do is use a dark blue then the same colour of blue, maybe put a tiny, tiny little bit of yellow into it. It might give it a wee kind of greeny tinge, but that'll be nice, okay? So I'm going to go in. So here, this is where my big wave is. Can you see the line? Yeah. This is where my the big wave is. It's going to be coming in just here. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with lighter colour here, lighter underneath it, because this is where it gets a bit lighter as it comes in. Now this is where you can add the same blue and maybe use a tiny little bit of, as I say, either lemon, yellow into it, or white. If you want to just do white, you can do white. Okay, and I'm just blending that in there. Okay. So you can kind of see, so here's my big wave right along here. Okay. And then with a the lighter colour, I'm going to go for this really pale. Actually, you might find this a wee bit difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm just doing like circular motion, circles, wee circles here. This is going to be the crest of these waves coming in. And I've done it with a pale blue, and then I'm going to go over the top of it with white. So literally all the way along the top with white. There we go. This is looking good. I'm liking it. Yeah, it's lovely, Sandra. Hi, Susan. Hi, Hazel. It's all start. Everybody's starting to come together. Can you see it, guys? Yeah. 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 I think everyone can. Yeah. That's good. 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 
I'm trying not to look. You can tell I'm trying not to touch my face. Very, very dirty hands. You're doing well. And you've, got, you've got a competition for the boys and girls. You've got a competition. Yes, we have. Yes. yes, we have. So what I would like is once we're finished this today, guys, if, um, if you can post this either on my page or Fiona's, whatever is easiest. And what I'm going to do is I've got a wee art bundle. So I will choose from all the people that are, that are painting with us today. I want you just to put your name, your age, and what medium. That just means what did you use to paint? Did you use acrylic? Did you use watercolour? Did you use crayon? Did you use Sharpie? I want you just to tell me what your age is, your name and your age, your first name, I don't need your second name, your first name, your age, um, and what you've used, what medium you use today to do your drawing, your painting. And then from them all, we will choose a winner. And we have a lovely wee art bundle, which we'll, set off, we'll send off to whoever the winner will be. I'm not sure yet, obviously. I need to see everybody's work. Um, but it'll be a nice wee art bundle for beginners. And Lovely. I'm sure we'll get, we'll get it to you somehow. That's a fantastic prize. And your Facebook yeah, page, oh, Sandra, so yes. uh, at Artisan Gallery. Yes. Okay. It's just Artisan Gallery. So, yeah, just Artisan Gallery. Yeah. So the boys and girls can post their pictures under this post or they can go direct yeah. to your page at Artisan Gallery and you'll pick one at random yeah. from from those that's a, that's a fantastic, fantastic prize yeah or oh, you'll enjoy it yeah they will they'll enjoy it now we're going to go on now to doing the sort of green ferny bits okay so you can see here there's lots of green down oops down the bottom here I keep doing this this tablet okay there's lots of green coming down at the bottom here coming in so if you're doing paint, little brush again. That one's too big actually. You want a nice thinner brush, yeah? Nice thin brush. Now all these brushes have all got names and they all do different things. Um, what I'll maybe do is the next time I do this, when, what I'll maybe do is I'll do a painting with you rather than using the chalks. I'll do a painting because all these brushes do different things. And once you know what the brushes can do, you can pretty much paint anything. Your imagination is your limit, okay? So if you're using a brush, a little brush like this, I'm just going to, in fact, I've got my pencil here to do these wee ferny bits. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm using a wee pencil here. And I am going to draw in all these wee ferns. Can you see them just at the bottom there? And what I'll do is I'll just darken this very bottom bit a little bit. Okay. And then just go in with some wee ferns. And the thing is, too, when you're doing it with the brushes, see if you can do it as a kind of, oops, where is it? I've got it here. Like a kind of flicking motion when you're doing this. Always, don't, don't flick it down to the bottom. Put your brush at the bottom and flick it up. Flick it up and away. And don't do them all straight. Do them, some going to the side, some are falling over, some are going straight up. So you always start at the bottom and flick it up and away, up and away. You see that? Yeah. Now we're going to do the same at the other side. So I'm just going to put a wee drop base colour down at the bottom here, a wee bit of green. And I'm going to go back in with a pencil again. I might go for a wee darker colour this time. Yep. So I'm going to go in with darker here. Now look how high up some of these... Oops, I've done it again. 
look how high up, see how these ferns here, see how high up these ones go. They actually go right up into the sky. Now, the reason they're much bigger is because they're to the fore, they're nearer to us. So because they're nearer to us, they're going to be much bigger. They're even bigger than where the lighthouse is sitting, okay, because they're closer to us, okay. So again, flick up your brush. And look where mines are coming right up to the sky here. Oops, wrong one. Okay. And just do, I'm just going to leave you to do all these. Go in and do these wee flicky brush strokes here. And this is just lots of wee ferns that are growing in wee, wee bushes. Now, when I sit here, but I'm just looking for a brush here. I have an abundance of brushes, as you can see here. This is just one of about 10 that I've got here. Now I'm looking for, there it's there. Now this little brush here, this is called, this is a this is a smaller baby fan brush. And you can see why it's called, it looks like a fan, doesn't it? So this is what you would use if you were painting. Now you can also use though, this, this wee brush just makes it easier. See to do these wee ferny bits. What you would do is you would load both sides of this brush with lots of paint on it. Put it on your brush, on your uh, your canvas or your paper, and you would just once you've pulled up the bull rush that's given it the stem, you would then just put it on and just flick it over. Now I haven't done that doing, so I'm going to show you how I'll do this with. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going in and giving a few wee kind of just wee ferny bits. See it? So we don't need to have loads of these going on. There's quite a few, there's quite a number of them there, but I'm just going to do a few. And I'll do a, one or two on this side as well. I'm not going too fast, Fiona, am I? No. No, it's fine, I think. Nobody's, nobody's saying that. They're all, they're all managing to keep up. Okay. Now, and in the picture here, there is a wee bit here. Um, it's a wee bit more coloured. It's actually more, it's kind of browny, kind of orangey brown. We fern that's going in there as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in amongst the green. And just break this up the green a little bit, okay? And I'll do a tiny wee bit down here as well. Well, they look just along the bottom here. They're so realistic. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. So you'll be doing this with your paintbrush. Just blend in a wee bit of brown along the bottom there. I'm quite excited to see everybody's work, actually. It'll be nice to see. Mm -hmm. Now, and what we'll do now is, so we've kind of got all the wee ferns going on. We've got the water, we've got the big wave, we've got the sun in, we've got the reflection in the water. Actually, with paint, you would see this reflection much, much more. I'm trying to just do it a little bit lighter for you to see it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw back in where my lighthouse is going to go. Okay. So my lighthouse is here. And see when you're doing your lighthouse, have it slightly wider, just ever so slightly wider at the bottom. 
and a little bit narrower up at the top. Okay, now remember, this is in the distance, so it's not going to be a huge, big, giant lighthouse. It's away in the distance. Okay, now I'm just going to colour all this in, so as you can see it. should be white, but I'm doing it grey so that you can see it. Okay, and then it has a little dome on the top. And we shall go with a little. I'm going to put a little bit of red around this because lighthouses are usually red and white. So I'm just going to put a wee around the top here. I'm going to put a little red door down here. A couple of wee windows in it. You see it? Yeah, can see that. Yeah. Hopefully. And let's see. Okay. Now this is where you can go in now with as much detail as you want to go in. Okay, so this is where we start to fill it all in with detail. So that's our basic, we've really, we've, we've kind of, we've actually done quite a lot for such a short time. Yeah. Um, Lovely. So, yeah, Sandra, so huh? if, um, if you were buying paints and you, you only had money to get, or, you know, a limited number of colours, is there particular colours that you should get that are you, the core part of your painting set? Yep, 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 yep. Yes, definitely. If you can get the most colours that most of you can use are, um, sorry, are if you go a blue, dark blue, dark brown, um, a nice bright yellow, red and green, all the primary colour, get the primary colours. Yeah. Now, you don't necessarily need to buy black because if you mix, this is where you get, if you, the more you paint and the more you do, you'll, you'll, find, you'll find this out. But if you mix black and blue, uh, brown and blue, you actually get black. Right, yeah. Okay, so you don't need to waste money. You don't need to waste money buying a tube of black. If you mix the same equal amounts of blue and brown, you will make black. So, so if you have blue, brown, yellow, red, and green, and a tube of white. So six colors, if you have six colors, you can make loads of colors from that. Loads and loads of colors from it. Yeah, that's really useful. And it's really, about, yeah, it's really about experimenting a little bit too, mm -hmm. because um, when you use, if you have your greens, say you have green and you want to make that green a wee bit darker, all you'll do then is you'll add a little bit of your dark blue to it. Okay. But if you want to make that same, if you, if you go for the basic green colour and you maybe want to make it a wee bit lighter. Okay. Oh, I think Sandra's got a call coming through there. Hopefully she'll be back in a wee minute. The picture was looking lovely. Oh, we'll give it a few minutes and just check if Sandra's going to come back to us. I think her phone was ringing. I think maybe a call came through just as she was finishing off her picture. Yeah. Are you back, Sandra? Um, kind of. Oh, Sandra. Shannon, I need you. We can hear you, but we can't Hang see on. Sandra. Right. I don't know. 
Oh, that's a shame. Hang on, we're trying to get it back again. That's okay. Because we clicked. I never clicked in. I think I it clicked in really. It was my son. Ah. <laughs> Okay, well, we were we were finishing up anyway, um, Sandra. So what what would be great is if everybody who's watched yeah. this could thank Sandra by going along to our Facebook page at Artisan Gallery and giving it a like, um, and sharing sharing the page as well would be good. And um, she's got classes that will be starting up, physical classes once lockdown's finished. And just now, Sandra, you're actually running online classes. Um, so if you have a wee look at our Facebook page and you enjoyed what Sandra was showing you today, you can join one of those classes in the interim um, and keep yourself busy during the lockdown. Now, remember, a uh, fantastic competition. If you manage to put a pen to paper today and you've learnt something from Sandra, we'd love to see all the boys and girls pictures. So please post them under this so that we can have a wee look. And Sandra's going to kindly pick one at random. And she's got a lovely art bundle yep. prepared as a prize. Oh, sorry, you're there, Sandra. I thought I'd lost you again. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm still here, Fiona. I just for some reason I can't get you back. Well, you're in the dark. Picture back. I'm you're in the dark. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. That was absolutely fantastic. I'm sure everybody really appreciates what you've done today. Thanks for taking the time out. I hope the kids have enjoyed it. You know, uh -huh. I really do. Yeah, we've had lots I hope of have enjoyed it. As I say, I'd post. Good, good. Post, um, definitely post the pictures and um, we can have a, that'll be my evening, that'll be my, my work for this evening is choosing a winner. Uh-huh. I'm Great. looking forward to seeing all the hard work. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we'll okay. hopefully do it again soon. Yes, that was brilliant. Thanks again. We'll finish up now. Thanks everybody okay. for watching. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye, Thank Sandra. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.